we cannot stop the time but we can run with the time what are the four steps for effective time management these are first is plan and organize second is prioritize third is control and fourth is track we will learn each of this step one by one first is plan and organize we should plan our day to day activities we should make a timetable that we should follow pick those tasks you have already completed ensure to finish task within the stipulated time frame we should keep our surroundings and study table clean and mess free we should put things back where they belong it helps save time if we do not keep the things in order we may have to waste a lot of time to trace the same as as and when they are required second step for effective time management is prioritize make the priority list of the tasks as per their importance and urgency high priority work should be on the top now the difference between important and urgent work urgent work is influenced by time and needs to be done immediately for example tasks with impending deadlines important matters do not need to be done in the near future but not doing them eventually has strong negative consequences important tasks contribute to long term goals and life values for example the presentation you would like to make for a promotion these tasks require planning and thoughtful action what is important is subjective and depends on your own values and personal goals no one else can define what is important for you third step is control we can control our activities and time develop the habit of doing the right thing at the right time work done at the wrong time is not of much use do not waste a complete day on something which can be done in an hour or so we should not spend too much time on internet surfing facebook or twitter or making personal calls and should focus on more important things we should turn off social media app a lot it is important to have peace of mind this is very important and stay focused on the task at hand fourth step for effective time management is track we should identify and note where we have spent our time this will help us analyze if we have used our time effectively or not it also helps us to identify time wasting activities people who manage their time well are more productive more efficient and more likely to meet deadlines and achieve the goals now the examples of good time management richa is always punctual at school she does her assignments in time she plans for study and play time in advance next example of good time management raman met his friend sunil after a long time the two friends started discussing their lives sunil told that despite his hectic job as the ceo if of a startup he does meditation writes books and also spends times on hobbies such as gardening 
he also spends time with his family and takes three to four vacations every year raman asked sunil how he managed to do so many works raman was finding it difficult to complete his office work on time each day he regularly works late hours in office he was finding it very difficult to spend time on exercise meditation and hobbies etc sunil told that he was very particular about time management he planned each day carefully and ensured that he made optimal use of every minute now example of poor time management sanya arrives late in class usually she does not submit her assignments in time she spends much of her time in internet surfing and pay pays less attention to her studies the time of tackling tasks is important tasks requiring high levels of concentration and mental energy are often done at the beginning of the day when a person is more refreshed modern technologies 24 hour news twitter facebook whatsapp text messaging constantly bombard us with information we are living in a continuous always on situation and lose our sense of long term narrative and direction thanks for watching if you like our course please spare some time to give a star rating to our course